So here we are back with our uh, Widgets Incorporated. This is where we left off in the Excel income statement, simple, number one. So we entered our underlinings and we merged our cells. And in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to enter simple formulas into your Excel spreadsheet. So for example here, I've added up all of my expenses into this one cell. But if you notice in my formula bar, all I did was simply type it into the cell. However, using a spreadsheet, it actually, it actually can do that for you. So for example, this $87,000 is the, is the summation of all of my expenses. So in a spreadsheet, you can click into the cell, and since I want to add up all these numbers and get my total expenses, my total expenses will be equal to the sum of, the parentheses represents of, and then I can just click and drag what I'm wanting to sum, sum, sum up. So I want to sum up all of my expenses. There's only four, so I click and drag and select all four sales, and then press return. Notice now when I click into the sale, it no longer tells me the number in my formula bar, but the formula that I entered. So now when I change one of these numbers that's included as part of that formula, it automatically updates the cell where the formula is located. In addition, with this income statement, I use two numbers to find my net income. Net income is equal to sales revenue minus my total expenses is net income. Therefore, I can use a formula here as well. So net income again is equal to my sales revenue, so I'll click on my sales revenue cell, minus, and I will click on my total expenses cell, and then I will press return. So now if any of these numbers change, it will automatically change both of these numbers, both total expenses and net income. So now you may be asked, if it's an academic assignment, you may be asked by your professor to uh, print formulas. To make your formulas visible on the spreadsheet, so that when you print your spreadsheet the formulas will be visible, Simply go up to Excel, click on Preferences, and then under your Authoring tab, select View. Then under your Windows Options, click Show Formulas. Then click OK, and you will notice the sales where you have entered formulas, it now shows the formula that you entered.